One thing a lot of people forget when they find themselves incarcerated is that your rap sheet follows you. It doesn't matter if you got a good rap sheet or a bad rap sheet. One thing about it, there's going to be somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that's seen something. And if you're hiding something or if you got, you know, some good stripes on your rap sheet, regardless, it's going to come out. For this video here, I'm going to be telling y'all what it's like when you got a good rap sheet and what it's like if you got a bad rap sheet inside a prison. So let's do it. <laughs> Dom the best. Finna be this way till I EOS. Take it how you want, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pro. Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo. I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment. Waking up every day, show me an opponent. Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks. So much pool, I can even start you from the box. You don't want to pay rent? Got me bent. Got lacks on deck, your money was well spent. Vultures on the prowl, so don't try test and Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing. You a hold down man? Suitcase this. My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing? You gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K Fraud TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. My name's Frog, and everything I talk about over here is either prison or jail related because I want people to know what it's truly like behind them bars. I do want to say, hey, everybody, I'm back. You know, I was on vacation for a little bit. Had to, you know, spend some time with the family, but it's time to get back into this real spill. You know what I'm saying? We back at it. For this video, I'm going to be talking about your rap sheet, all right? Everybody has them, whether it's good or bad, all right? Even people who stay out of shit, who ain't got no trouble, who ain't really known or anything like that, the only rap sheet you may have is you'll be known for nothing, you understand? Now, inside of prison, you got people that think they can get away with everything, all right? You got some people that think just because they do something at this institution, whether they get exposed for snitching, for stealing, for sleeping with boys, or whether it's they stab somebody, they cut someone, you know, whatever it is. They think that it won't follow them to their next institution. This video here, we're gonna be talking about it. I wanna let y'all know it follows you, all right? It doesn't matter where you go. It don't matter if you're at the bottom of the map and you're known for snitching. You land at the tip top of that map, it's gonna come out that you are a rat, all right? There's no way to get away with it, you know? It just postpones it, if anything. The farther you are from where it happened, just means a little longer you can stretch it out before it finally comes to the light again, all right? And the reason I want to talk about this is because I actually ran across some people that I knew from inside of prison. And it blew my mind because other people that they ran into were talking about me to them. And it made them think of me, you know, because like, damn, I ain't heard a frog in a minute, matter of fact, dog. And they're like, yeah, well, you know, frog this, frog that. And one thing about me is I always have, you know, when it comes to a rap sheet, my rap sheet might be, you know, yay thick, but it's always a good rap sheet. You understand? Yeah, I got into shit, got into trouble. When I was younger, I was way more of a loose cannon than I am now. Now I have patience. I learned to kind of think before I do anything, you know, but... My rap sheet was always, I was known for, you know, getting into stuff, sticking up for myself, getting in the fights, you know, just keeping it thorough, 100, no matter what it is that I go through. And to hear this from someone that they heard it from someone else that they met along their journey, which it's what I expect because I'm going to keep it 1000 regardless who I'm around or where I am. But it felt good to know that people still look at me like that you understand that still look at me for keeping it 100 look at me for being thorough for being real because you know after a while you could be in somebody's face all the time and you could be you know cool to them at that moment but when you're not around them and they're still doing their time and everything you know that that 1000 vibe they have with you kind of the fade and you never know after the years go by if they'll like stop you know liking you as much they might you know not be as cool with you as they once were you know they the memories go to you know fading you know, how cool y'all were so you never really know if they're throwing you know salt on your name or just lying just to feel like they're harder than you you never really know you get what i'm saying because the way the world is this is the type of things you deal with but it made me feel good to know that there was nothing bad said about me you know and there never really is other than like on youtube because people make up whatever they want you feel me but as far as People that truly know me, anybody I did time with, they know at the end of the game, my, my, my rap sheet may be yay thick, like I said, but 
it's nothing but good stuff. You know what I'm saying? 10 years can go by before I ever speak to anybody that I've seen at one place. And when I run into them again, they're going to embrace me. And they're going to, you know, they're going to talk about, man, remember when you did this, when you did that. I got a good rap sheet, okay? And I've always had a good rap sheet, even as a kid. When I was younger, when I was in school, I used to get in trouble in school, which that was bad. But... I always handled up. I always got in fights. I always stuck up for myself no matter what it was. So it was like I was known for getting in trouble and being bad, but I, it was a bad, good rap sheet is the easiest way I can explain it. Now, for other people that have bad rap sheets, you get what I'm saying? Like I broke down, I had a good rap sheet. So anywhere I would go, probably still to this day, any place I go, people are going to embrace me and they're going to, you know, dap me up and they're going to salute Frog because at the end of the day, ain't nothing bad on my name. Now, for people who got bad rap sheets, and I've seen it happen multiple times, their bids are exhausting and scary, terrifying at that, because you never know what's going to happen, all right? And you're already going to prison, you never know what's going to happen in general. But when you got a bad rap sheet, it's like, not only do you got to, you know, sleep with one eye open and, you know, keep looking over your shoulder regularly, but when you got a bad rap sheet, like if... You were somebody that told before, you know, or if you're somebody that was stealing or, or cut somebody that you shouldn't have cut, that shit there, you never know when it's going to happen. It isn't if it happens, it's when it happens. You get what I'm saying? Because somebody is going to get you for that, you know, and it might be somebody that has nothing to do with the situation. You understand? You could have snitched on somebody and these people don't even know who you snitched on, but they, once they get wind of it and it comes around, they're going to take it out on you as if it was their people that you, you know, you told on. Same thing when you stab the wrong person. If you're somebody locked up and you find yourself in an altercation and you cut a gang member, you know, say you get into it with, you know, the Zoes or, or, you know, you get into it with the Bloods and you cut a Blood or a Zoe, right? Next thing you know, you get transferred. It don't stop there. And the prison is a world inside of a world. Your name, your DC number, all that shit is all over the call out sheets that they put in every single dorm every night. You get what I'm saying? It's stitched on your damn blues. You know, somebody could steal one of your shirts and see it. Your ID, you know, it's not hard to find out your name. You know, your name, the guards see it all the time. There, there might be, you know, an institution that you're at where you're in confinement. And on the outside of the confinement door, they have your pictures right there. So when the guards walk by, they see your pictures hanging right there by your door. So it ain't nothing for somebody to really get your actual name and know your DC number. And they're going to send word. The word is going to get to wherever you're going before you get there. That's how small it is inside a prison. Even though it's big, it's still small. So you cut someone you ain't supposed to cut. And you think just because you did it in front of the guards, you pulled a check-in stunt. Or you, know, you think nobody's going to find out about your paperwork or anything like that. I guarantee you, wherever you land at, word was already sent quicker than you got there on the bus, you see? And it happens so many times. You'll see people walking around prison, acting like they fit in, you know, like they never did anything wrong, you know, like they've never told on no one or they've never, you know, stabbed who they shouldn't have stabbed or they never got, you know, you know, put on the door at another camp and was forced to check in and stuff like that. And then before you know it, somebody will come to that institution that knew them from that camp or, you know, remembers their face from somewhere else and it'll all come out. Before you know it, that same person that was right there in front of everybody for a couple months that didn't even seem like that's the type of person they were, all of a sudden you'll see they check in to try to get moving around, you know, to get from around there now because they feel the tension that they're going to get got. You feel me? And... Some people, you know, ignore the signs. They literally think they got away with it. They don't think their rap sheet followed them. And before you know it, they ignore the signs and then that's when they get they self hit. You see what I'm saying? So the whole moral of the story of this video is be yourself. If you ask the sides to be 100 and be thorough and keep your head up and stand on all 10 toes like I did, rep that shit. Because even if you're known for being 1,000, and you go to an institution and you try to lay low. You don't want to get into trouble no more. You know, you want to you want to go home now. You're tired of getting your date pushed back. You're tired of them always snatching your game time. You know what I'm saying? You finally want to get back to your family. So you're trying to stay about the shit. Your name is going around from prison to prison, whether you know it or not. 
whether it's bad rap sheet or a good rap sheet. For instance, when I got shipped from Calhoun CI, I landed at Charlotte. When I landed at Charlotte, a couple people already knew who I was that I'd never met a day in my life. Now, when I finally left Calhoun after putting in that work and that energy in that jungle, when I finally left there and landed at DeSoto, tons of people knew who I was. When I was getting off the bus, I'll never forget, I met this inmate, his nickname was Danger. Me and Danger, we, we met each other going through reception centers and we were talking and shit. And as we were getting off the bus, before I even stepped foot on the pound, I was just getting off the bus up at the front gate. I hear people yelling, K-Fraud TV, bitch, K-Fraud TV. And I remember I looked over at Danger, I said, oh, somebody here knows me. He's like, why you say that? I say, you don't hear them yelling K-Fraud TV? And he's like, oh, that's you? And I say, yeah, look, I got K-Fraud tattery on my wrist, that's me. You feel me? He's like, oh, that real now? I was just telling him my name was Frog at first. You see, so due to me having a good rap sheet my name traveled regardless so when i landed in that institution i was trying to you know since i was finally under 100 days left in my bid this was the closest i ever was every time i'd get to like 108 days something would happen next thing you know i get put in confinement they push my date back so this time here when i finally got out of the box from doing 277 days finally touched down at a new compound my whole mindset was damn i got like 83 days left i'm like let me just stay out the way Stay away from the phone. Stay away from the bangers, the knives. Stay away from, you know, the, the bullshit. Let me just go home. Fuck it. I got less than three months left. This is the closest I've ever been. But it wasn't that easy. Because as soon as I landed on that pound, like I said, having a good rap sheet, as soon as I landed on that pound, the more I tried to, you know, separate myself and back up from these things, the more people want to give it to me. The more people are like, boy, fraud, what's up? Boy, I heard about you. Boy, you need you a banger. You feel me? Like stupid shit like that, you know? And I remember when I first went there, first thing on my mind was, oh, where the bangers at? Where the phones at? Because I was on a different type of time because of the camp I was at. That's what I needed when I was at Charlotte. And I see my dog Jeezy there, and he was like, man, just do your time for all going. ain't even like that there. You feel me? They ain't even like that over here. So I'm like, yeah, I feel you. But that could just be, you know, 48 Laws of Power, you know what I'm saying? He could be using, you know, a, a tactic to unarm me of my weapon you feel me he could be playing you know using characters and charm to to make me feel like i don't need a weapon and then i get got you see so even though that's my dog and shit but you never know people be on shady time you feel me so i was like yeah yeah i feel i feel but i was still trying to figure out how i can wheel and deal and get what i need to get just in case for myself but then when i realized and i peeped none of that shit was kind of going on i'm like damn they landed me at this institution for what? Do they want me to go home finally? You know what I'm saying? Because this wasn't the type of place for me to get in the shit like I was used to. But people knew who I was, even though I tried to stay out of the way and not say nothing. So what I'm getting at is if people know who you are by having a good rap sheet, knowing that you're a good playmaker, knowing about fights and stabbings and situations that you've been through and how you head your head up no matter what, just imagine. If people know that and they can point you out of a crowd of 1,600 inmates across the other side of the state compared to where you were just at, if they can pinpoint you and pick you out, you know, of a lineup for good things, what makes you think they can't do that if you got a bad rap sheet? That's what you got to think about. So the same thing happens. The same thing applies, whether it's good or bad. People are going to pinpoint and pull you out of a lineup and be like, that dude right there was a rat. That dude right there was snitching. Or that dude right there walks around like he's gangster here at this institution. But I remember at another institution we were at like three years ago, he would let people take his food and slap him in his mouth. Having people were making him make their beds and shit, clean their bowls after they're done eating. Like stuff like that. Cause you're running the people in prison that act like they always been Conan. But in all reality, they were soft once upon a time. They just feel comfortable now. They might land in an institution where not everybody's soft, but ain't no pressure being applied. So they'll feel like they're just as tough as the other tough asses that are walking around. But in all reality, since ain't no pressure being applied, nobody really gives a damn how tough they act. You see, I've been to some institutions where you can't even walk around with your chest out or you can't even act like you're living like that. You can't even walk a certain way without other people making a problem out of it. You get what I'm saying? So you got to literally be about that issue. 
you feel me, to even walk a certain way or talk a certain way. You get what I'm saying? Because that pressure is applied. And that's the type of institutions I landed at first. So when I went to these little other camps, you know, that shit was like a walk in the park. You feel me? And it's crazy because DeSoto, I knew a bunch of people on the streets, me growing up. I always heard DeSoto, 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 DeSoto. So I was thinking like when it was time for me to go there, if I knew this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, all these different dudes that are out now that I knew growing up, but I know they went through that shit, you know, in my mind, I'm going to think like it's a tough institution. Man, I went there and that shit was like a fucking kid camp. It wasn't nothing compared to what I was used to. You know what I'm saying? And it could have been like that because my rap sheet followed me and people knew how I get down. You see, that's the whole thing I'm getting at is your rap sheet plays a major part. You understand? You could be a good person. You could be a bad person. You could be, you know, you can have a good, you know, relationship with people. You could have bad relationships with people. One thing about it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if they end up dirtying your name or not. When you finally land somewhere, people are going to make it to where they get at you. And if they don't get at you in a bad way from your bad rap sheet, they might get at you in a good way due to the simple fact that they know you're a playmaker. They know you like to make money. They know at the end of the day, no matter what you do, you're going to always try to hustle and get what you got to get. You see what I'm saying? So I want to let people know that your rap sheet follows you no matter what you do. Now, if you're someone that's been locked up before, let me know what you think. Let me know if you went through the same shit. Have you ever seen anybody that tried to keep a secret? You know, about their rap sheet. You ever seen it catch up to them? You ever seen them get flipped? How many of y'all been locked up before? And you'd see somebody that was a gang member. Putting on for a gang for a couple years. Next thing you know, you hear they're snitching. And then they get ate by their own brothers. Get stabbed up. Get put in confinement. Off the pound. It isn't because they just told now. Nine times out of ten, it's because they rap sheet caught up with them. You feel me? If you've seen something like that go down, drop it in the comment section. Or, if you're like me and you had a good rap sheet... And it caught up with you and people knew who you were as you were passing through. Or people knew who you were when you touched down there because of the things you did. How you stood on your own two feet, you know what I'm saying? And held your chin up at all times. If you came across people like that, that remembered you from things like that, let me know in the comment section. I know I ain't the only one. I'm not the hardest person in the world. But one thing about it, Frog gonna keep it 1,000 every time. You feel me? That's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I appreciate everybody having the patience, man. I know I've been out of town for a little minute. And I've been wanting to drop videos and drop videos. Show people what I be doing with my vacations and shit. But at the same time, it's like, you know, me being a single dad, you know, to two, two kids, two sons. It's kind of like, you know, I feel greedy, man, when I got the camera out all the time. You see what I'm saying? It's like I want to show them that they mean more to me than YouTube does. You know, and it's kind of hard because... I, lead, I live, breathe, fucking sleep, YouTube, everything's YouTube, 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 you know, I put a lot in behind this shit, and we ain't even close to stopping, but I appreciate y'all having patience with me, man, I appreciate everyone that tunes in, I appreciate all the comments, everybody that follows me on Instagram, all that, but like I always say, man, y'all make sure you keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, and clout chasers out your circle, and until next time, this the one and only, I am my team, Frog. I'm a criminal, I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit though I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit though Cause I'm a criminal, yeah I'm a criminal